Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, good morning, y'all. It's time to get up and make some money. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Get in the comments. Make sure you put that bell thing on. What? It's the bell. There I go. It's early, y'all. It's early. Make sure you hit the bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. But it's time to go make some money, y'all. Join me on this ride along from 7 to 12. Maybe a little bit over 12 to see how much you can make in the morning time multi happen. But I catch you inside because guess what? We already got an order for Walmart Spark. We only going shopping for three orders and we shopping for $15.55 for 7.2 miles. If you like that order, stay tuned. Hello. So we got a waffle, bacon soda, and some chili. Now let's go check it out. All right, guys, next order up. You let me know in the comments. Well, <laughs> if this good or not, would you take it or not? Um, $27.71. For 10.3 miles. Yep, you heard right. 10.3 miles. It is a three drop off order. One order has 11 items. The second one has 13. And the third one has 65 items. Would you take that? Or would you leave it? Would I be able to make it back for the next round robin? Mm hmm. Stay tuned. I wouldn't mind. Just doing pickups, but it seems like the store that I worked through, it got more shops than um, than pickups. Or maybe they just don't send me the pickups. They send them to everybody else because it seems like they send me a lot of shopping orders. But I would rather do because it ain't got to the point now. They're about the same price now. It used to be shopping deliver used to be a little bit more than... Um, pickups but it's like it kind of even out um that they pay about the same for it now so <sighs> it is a gloomy cloudy day but catch y'all when we get that order Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so cloudy out here. Did the clouds, they want to stay in the sky today? They want to come mess with us today, huh? Look at this. I mean, it is cloudy everywhere. All right, y'all, that is the building where we had to get those groceries up with. So your boy had to come up with a master plan to not be making all those steps. Carrying two cases of water, sodas, and the rest of the groceries. So I was like, you know what? I just put my wagon at the top, take everything one by one, put it in the wagon, then wheel it inside. That way I wouldn't be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm a little tired, but hey, it's worth the money. It's $27. Even if it take an hour to do it, I wouldn't mind $27 an hour. But let's go make our way to the next one. Oh God, we gotta go up to the third, I mean second floor. Uh, it's gotta be a crime to order this much of groceries and gotta go to the second floor. And I guarantee the neighborhood I'm in, they normally don't tip. So we're gonna take all these groceries to that floor. Meet you up there, guys. And why does it have to be a cold one? <sighs> y'all that was a workout we probably went back and forth for about well up and down the stairs probably about five times i want to say Woo. we're not gonna make it back to the uh drop it's not 46 now i mean we only with probably like eight minutes away but 
they're probably not going to see anything. I can't even see them. I'm fogging up my glasses, y'all. Woo! But luckily, one good thing, I guess she must be heard me up there. And she um, came to the door and started taking some of the groceries to inside of her apartment. And so she was able to give me the code. Because one thing I was thinking, what if I take all these groceries up here and nobody answered the door to give me the code? I would have been mad. Because <laughs> that was a lot of work. But y'all let me know in the comments. Um, have anybody done that to where they delivered the groceries and had they didn't have the code or nobody answered the door? Do you have to take the groceries back? I'm still curious about that. I don't want to find out on my own. I'd rather <laughs> you know, ask y'all so I can know what to happen if that tends to happen. Or maybe they just take you to the screen to where, well, since we couldn't get code, we're just gonna take a picture of where we leaving the groceries at and then you go on about your day. Whew. Let's go make our way back to Walmart or we'll either catch an Uber Eats or what I don't know. Whew, I need some water. All right, guys. So right now I'm looking at a $20.73, a shopping order for $10, excuse me, 10 miles. 10.7 miles. And it's 20 items. They did not even tip. Would you take in that? You know, I'm going to get a screenshot so I can show you what I'm talking about, but, oh, I didn't, I missed it. But Whitney took in that order, 20 items, $20, so a dollar an item, 10 miles, and a person didn't tip. All that is all Walmart pay. Let me know in the comments. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. It's highway miles, but it's lower mileage than what the first one was. 5.8 miles for $16.29. And how many items we got to shop for? 19 items, and guess what? How much they tip y'all? <laughs> One dollar. Stupid. People, y'all, people, I tell you, people, 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 people are different now. Thank you, COVID. Ever since COVID, people are different. But let's go shopping. Cause I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. You want your cool bread? That was not of a bad shop. It's just the app kept causing problems while I was scanning the right old items. It kept saying something about pick the list. And then I was like, what the world is it talking about? Pick the list. And then after they say pick the list, then they give me another reminder that when it, when, when it's the time it is supposed to be dropped off. And it did it for like four items. I'm like, why does it keep doing this? So I don't know if they are doing some more stuff in the system right now. And causing problems, but what well, that was the first time that ever happened. But um, I also noticed in the stores now they're changing the uh price tag things because now they have the price and it has a barcode you can scan on them now, and it's white. Y'all let me know. Um, is y'all Walmart changing the barcodes in your uh, not barcodes, but the price tags in your Walmart because it used to be yellow and it just have the price and then. The number we look for when we're shopping um, for items. Now it's uh, white with the barcode and it has the price. So let's go deliver this order. Hopefully they're all right over there. It look like it's a car flipped over. Got a car over there and then a car over there flipped over. Y'all be safe out there. Thank you for your one dollar. <laughs> All right, Hustle Game, it has been very quiet. We haven't got nothing but one order since we've been sitting at Walmart. And it's probably like an hour maybe in them pairs. So it's 11.21 lunchtime. I turned Ubi's on. Caught one for $4, only going five miles for Zaxby. And as soon as I also got that, they sent your boy another order for $9.77 for 7.2 miles. Um, I wouldn't normally took in that. 
but I need to make up money from that hour we were just sitting. So we're going to take that. We took both of them to get in the algorithm with Uber Eats so they can, you know, send us a few orders because it looked like Spark might be dead. I see a lot of people out here sitting in their cars and some of their faces are familiar. So I know they're sitting. So that means I don't like sitting, waiting, wasting time and not making money. So turn on another app. So Uber Eats, here we come. Um, Zaxby's. Brianna, why did you use Uber Eats just to order a large fry? No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no, no. That large fry probably cost you what, ten, fifteen dollars. <laughs> Let's go to McAllister's. Brianna works at Starbucks. She is McAllister is, I don't know if I can see right there. Then on the other side, McAllister is Zaxby's. So she could have walked instead of spending that money, but hey, I guess she didn't want to walk. <laughs> Brianna, I ain't gonna trip though. That's probably was the easiest order I done had all day. So I appreciate you. You know, I deliver you fries you eat every day for five dollars. Just you know, hit me up and I'll be there. But let's go deliver the second one. All right, we got that second order dropped off to Shannon at the Courtyard Marriott. Hey, that's a good hotel. When I was playing college ball, that's where we used to uh, stay in. They got really soft beds, really soft beds. But um, she put it to be me that door, but then in the notes it said, leave at the lobby, leave it in the lobby or whatever. So I'm like, cool. And then I look. I say, oh, it's gonna be a, it's a pen required one. I'm like, oh, here we go with the drum. But I said, you know what? Let me text her. I do what she want me to do if she uh takes me the code. So I told her how long I was uh far away and for me to leave it at the desk, let me um get the pen so I can, you know, just leave it at the desk, put the pen and then walk away. I was thinking like, man, she probably ain't gonna even text back, I'm gonna have to call and text. And I guess I forgot how to do how to do Uber Eats without the without a pen. I haven't did it in a while. But she texted me back, gave me the pen. I gave it to the person at the front desk, and now we're on our way either to make some money on DoorDash or use the Uber Eats because Walmart is still quiet. I ain't even making no noise right now. You know what? Hold on, y'all. Let me see something. Something is. Stupid, 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 stupid. You stupid, Quip. You stupid. Golly. Something reminded me because I remember just morning when I clicked on, you know, they give you a four hour shift counter. And I believe it said 11 o'clock. And the reason my spark ain't been going off because y'all ended up been off since 11 o'clock. It's 11 48, 48. I'm just thinking about that. But I mean, all the way up until 11, we didn't see anything. But. Uh, first order up on DoorDash. Earned by time. They seen your boy 6.3 miles. They want me to deliver out of my zone. Why? Keep me in my zone. That, that's that's like the whole reason why y'all got zones, right? Like, come on now. Why would I pick up in my zone, take out my zone, and gotta drop all the way back to get something in my zone? I mean. If you're gonna be like that, just open up everything up like Uber Eats. Like, that way I ain't gotta worry about once I jump into another zone, can I switch to that zone? Or I have to drive back to a zone? Come on now. If you wanna take things from other platforms, I advise you to do that with Uber, uh, what Uber Eats does. Just take the zones away. Just let it be free, open. And hey, then I'll come deliver that because I know once I get over there, I can still pick up an order over there to either work in that area or either bring it back. Something like that. Come on now. Work with me now, DoorDash. Work with me. All right. 
right, Nick, let's see if you're a tipper. Tip, tip, tipper. Two miles. Hey, Nick tipped $2.68, making it $5.73, my guy. Hey, Nick, let's see if you're a that dude swam up and here we go. I need that food and I'm like, here you go. But um, it's about 12, 26. I'm gonna go ahead and call the quiz. I am. I really don't never work the whole lunch shift. I don't, I just, like I said, I work in shifts now. So I know I ain't really too big of orders out there for lunch. Well, Uber Eats and DoorDash. Well, not DoorDash, Uber Eats. I have some time to time, but I'm hungry, so. Let me make it to this house and we'll come back with the orders. Orders. I mean, totals. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, if you made it to this far, go ahead and drop that bag emoji. And we're going to go ahead and run these numbers. As far as Walmart Spark, we did $47.24. far as unconfirmed daily tips of $12.31. Uber Eats, we did $21.77. And DoorDash, we did one order for $5.73. Totaling out to be $87.05. Uh, I want to say we started about 7, 7.30, and we ended about 12.30, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's about, what, 45 hours, I think? 45 hours. 45 hours, that's what we made. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing, and uh, keep hustling, my friends.